The Erie County Health Department is warning all of us about tick season as more and more people are heading outdoors to enjoy the warmer weather. News 4's Tara Lynch spoke with experts about how to keep you and your family safe. Tara. Well, Don and Kelsey, it's that time of year. It's warmer outside. I'm not even wearing a jacket right now, but that means that it's tick season and it is important to make sure that you are protected and keep your family safe from getting a tick bite. It's a tick bite, you know, it can cause just as much damage as anything else. As more people head outside, experts are warning to watch out for ticks and take precautionary measures to avoid contracting illnesses like Lyme disease. Nobody really thinks it's a problem. Think everybody just thinks, oh, big deal. You know, ticks are a big deal, Lyme disease, and it really is. The CDC shows that ticks can be as small as a seed going almost unnoticed, but they can cause significant disease and symptoms. Most people get somewhat ill with it. Um, when they get it and they have some type of fever, there can and then also have a rash. And they sometimes that those symptoms are pretty mild at the beginning. Dr. Mark Heikar says some cases can be missed because symptoms are so varied. Cases of Lyme disease that are not diagnosed right away can result in joint swelling, headache, and fogginess. He says the University at Buffalo will be a subsite for a larger worldwide Lyme disease vaccine trial, which is being developed by Pfizer. I thought people would be interested in it because of the increasing Lyme cases in the area. Uh, it's also a, an FDA fast track. Um, so I assume as, so, as long as the safety data is well, I think this is going to be improved in about three to five years. Rebecca Roll's husband was diagnosed with Lyme disease in 2013, and she says his symptoms were severe. Her goal is to educate others about the importance of being cautious and using prevention strategies. It's an everywhere problem. It's a backyard problem. It's a sports complex problem. It's a baseball field problem. It's a golf problem. I mean, you name it, anywhere you go outdoors, it is a problem. However, be, you know, be precautionary. We do them by spraying our yard. We do them by spraying our skin, by spraying our gear and our clothing, and then doing our nightly tick checks every single day. Now, both of our experts recommended using tick repellent spray. Now, this is specific bug spray you can pick up at the store that's specifically for ticks. You can also get a different kind of spray to spray off your clothing. And also, they recommend doing those nightly tick checks on your skin before you hop into the shower. And it's also important to keep our four-legged friends, our pets, our dogs, and cats safe from ticks as well. Make sure you're checking their skin as well. For now, reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Tara Lynch, News 4.